Hola, soy Armando Pascual, director de Arti City, tu sueño hecho realidad. Y bueno, como ha seguido seguramente estos videos, vamos a hacer ya la última parte en donde Mika nos va a maquillar el otro ojo. Ya tenemos el look maravilloso que nos hizo de este lado. Ahora viene a este a hacer un look más natural. Así es que no perdamos tiempo y vamos de lleno a ello en un momento. Okay, so for the second eye look, for the more natural side, I will show you how to do a very soft brown smoky eye look. Excellent. So first thing we want to do is prime the eye. This time I will take the eyeshadow primer, since this will give me a very neutral base, it won't add texture, and it will also help me blend my cream eyeliners, which I'm gonna use to create intensity. So every time you try these as an eyeshadow base, and You know, these dry very fast. You want to increase mm -hmm. your working time. Yes. Put this one first. This will make your life easier. Excellent. Bien, la ventaja que vamos a tener ya en el primer look del ojo que hicimos del ojo derecho, más bien que hizo Mika, ya me estoy apuntando yo, que hizo Mika, en realidad no usó esta base para las sombras. Pero sin embargo, ahora sí la va a usar, lo cual es una gran ventaja para ver las diferencias. Lo está aplicando con un pincel este ancho lengua de gato de natural y simplemente es una pasadita ligera. Also remember since um, eyeshadow will pick up stronger on the primed eyelid, you have to put it all the way up to the eyebrow. Otherwise you can see where you stopped, where this product stopped and you will not have that nice beautiful blend. Okay. So take this all the way up. De eso es importante en el truco o en el tip para este producto porque en particular entonces ya vimos que si no lo aplicamos realmente en toda el área después se va a notar muy bien okay so i will choose more brown tones warm brown tones a little tiny bit of black just for the lash line and all of these are cream liners so i'm putting those on my palette okay and Be careful, your cream liners are a product that is meant to dry down waterproof, so it will also do this in the jar if you leave it open. So if you have it open on your counter, you can just put it like this while you're working and it doesn't dry out as fast. Okay. Sí, es algo muy importante que tiene este producto. Eh, sí llega a suceder, de repente cuando lo tienes mucho tiempo en esto te das cuenta que ya no, ya no está eh, en estado útil. Entonces es bien importante ese punto, conservar los tapados o como ella simplemente te dijo, lo volteas. Esto es importantísimo porque es un producto que como es resistente al agua, el reactivarlo con agua no te creas que es tan funcional. Una vez que este producto ya está seco para que lo reactives no es tan recomendable. Por tanto, si lo compras, úsalo, 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 úsalo de verdad, acábatelo para que le saques el provecho. Porque además es extraordinario, se usa maravillosamente. Vean aquí de, de qué forma tan fácil se puede aplicar este producto. So, I always put on the color with one brush and then blend it out immediately with the other. Okay. Since this is a product that dries down fast, you have to also work a little faster than usual. And okay. if you've had your cream liner for a longer time, it tends to be a little drier in consistency. So what you can do is add a little bit of makeup blend to reactivate it, make it okay. smoother and more blendable. Ahí está el tip. Básicamente puede reactivar un poco can mejor el makeup blend. Yo de hecho lo he hecho, pero este sí, cuando el producto ya, pues, repito, está extremadamente seco, ni el makeup blend te lo rescata. Me refiero al cuando ya está en el contenedor. Cuando lo uses aquí, sin problema alguno. Me refiero a el uso directo. So, I'm taking a little bit of makeup blend and mixing my other color in it. And you see, I'm just creating a very light wash of color. Again, I have my blending brush ready. I have this one ready. So, I'm just applying it to the outer corner of her eye and immediately blend it. Fíjense cómo no deja absolutamente espacio. 
directamente. Aplica con uno y el otro enseguida para mezclar, para difuminar. No le está permitiendo en ningún momento esperar, regresar a tomar producto allá a la mesa, nada. Directo, paso uno, paso dos, inmediato. And then I'm just increasing the intensity of the outer corner. Uh -huh. Volvemos a lo mismo que desde el punto de vista a que en la zona externa del ojo tiene que ser más profunda, por lo tanto ahí está dejando mucho mayor carga de producto e inmediatamente mezcla, difumina para hacer un look extremadamente natural en esa zona. Más make up blend. Uh -huh. This time sometimes if you're not fast enough and especially again if you have air condition on uh -huh. this will dry it down much faster okay so if you realize oh it's getting patchy and i i'm not fast enough don't worry take a little bit of makeup blend dab it on and you can see it blends right away again Excellent. so don't worry about the working time too much just try to work as fast as possible and if it doesn't work makeup blend will help you out perfect Okay, open your eyes. So already you can see she has a lot more definition. Her eye is a little bit more dramatic, mm -hmm. but still we have a very soft, natural look. Mm -hmm. So I'm also going to use a little bit of the same product underneath her eyes, this time again with a smaller brush, mixing all of those colors in. And you see, I always take away the excess on my palette. I really turn and twist the brush until I only have a little tiny bit of color and look up. Then I'm just connecting the outer corner. And depending on your eye size and shape, you can really blend down or you can just add a little definition. So she has beautiful big eyes, so I can get away with a lot of blending. Mm -hmm. Still, this depends on what look you're going for. If you want it to be a little bit more dramatic, add a little bit more shading. If you want more of a natural finish, Just add a little bit along the lash line here to give it more intensity. Great. Like this. De forma rapidísima vemos como, a pesar de que obviamente sí hay un maquillado, no deja de verse con cierta naturalidad con este producto. So just in the outer corner I'm adding a little bit of black, but also a soft one, so I don't give her a sharp liner, I just want to Intensify the eye look a tiny bit. Ahí está haciendo como una especie okay, de open. manejo de acento en donde justamente en la colita del ojo un poquito de negro para incrementar, pero se dan cuenta de inmediato mete el pincel mezclador para difuminar esa área. Like this. Right. Very this fast. Face. You can leave it like this, you can add eyeshadow on top to set it in place, but once this is dry, this will not move. It will be like your long lasting everyday okay. makeup pretty much. You could also go swimming with it even, because oh, it's water resistant. Of course. So, of course. very good Esa product. es la gran ventaja. Este producto, una vez que ya lo aplicaste, difícilmente se va a remover, o más bien ni siquiera se remueve al meterte a nadar. Así es que en un rapidísimo ya, ahorita simplemente ya podría quedarse así este maquillaje, ya no necesita más, es un poco de sombra que combina perfectamente con todo el otro maquillaje que se hizo. If you still want to add a little bit more glamour, you can use for example the satin powders, the shimmery loose powders, you could use a little bit of shimmery eyeshadow and just add it here to the inner corner or give a light wash of color on the lid. Don't go too extreme with the colors because then again, it will pop a lot. Mm -hmm. But this way you get a nice reflection on, you know, the center of the eye. So every time she blinks, you have that little bit of luminosity. Obviamente okay. eso es lo que prácticamente casi siempre hacemos. La parte central del ojo es la que tiene más volumen y es la que tenemos que seguir respetando para que haya esa luminosidad. Take a little bit of bright eyeshadow, again, matte or shimmery, depends on your taste. Mm -hmm. And add it to the inner corner to brighten up the eye area. Mm -hmm. Esa luz que se está usando en los últimos años en la parte interna del, del ojo, en la esquina. So a little bit here. Un poquito arriba. 
que ya de por sí con el acabado que ella le dio abajo, su sombra natural o su luz natural ya resaltó inmediatamente. Peinadito de cejas. Again, I'm using my eyebrow foaming gel. Of course. Just to brush those hairs in place. And I'm also going to add a tiny little bit of shadow just to fill in the gaps. But depending on how natural you want your look, you can also leave them very natural. Just, you know, fill in a little tiny bit with a shadow. Um, you could also draw in individual hairs, which will take more time. Of course. But will make it look very natural, very beautiful. Since she has full eyebrows naturally, I don't really have to paint in anything. So mm -hmm. I'm just taking a little bit of darker eyeshadow to fill in little gaps. Of course, you can also take the eyebrow powders. These are a little bit more waxy, so they stick to your skin better. So I'm just gonna brush a tiny bit of color through. Because I actually like how I can see the individual hairs within her eyebrow. It's just for parts like this, where there's a lot of skin still showing through, so just... A pesar de que ella tiene su ceja negra, no está usando un color negro, está usando un color café 101, si lo estamos hablando en sombras, lo que lo va a hacer un look más natural y no tan hiper drástico. And leave the front wispy and natural, because if you have a sharp line here, mm -hmm. again it will look very, you know, made up, very makeup-y, very artificial sometimes. Okay. And if you leave this a little bit more natural, okay. the overall look will look more soft, more natural, more like you didn't do anything pretty much. All right. Mascara, lashes. I will curl her lashes because mm -hmm. her lashes are a little bit a straight little down. Flat. Yeah, so. <laughs> Pestañas de aguacero, como decimos nosotros aquí en México. Exactamente. <laughs> so here also a tip, if you have very straight lashes and you curl them, use waterproof mascara mm -hmm. because with the regular mascara, it contains water. Uh -huh. So once you put the regular mascara on, the water will reactivate your natural hair Look, shape. Exactly. Like with your natural hair, if you do locks and you add water. Exactly. You know, same with lashes. So mascaras that contain um, oils mm -hmm. and waxes instead mm -hmm. of water will remain the shape, will not reactivate, you know, the straightness of your hair. Exactly. They can use, for example, the um, Dermal Color Light Mascara, which is waterproof. You could also brush a little bit of cream liner in it, so mm -hmm. the whole look will be pretty much cream liner. Excellent. Okay, so look down. And I like to give it a little pump. And move up a tiny bit. Give it another pump. Sometimes you can even, you know, twist. Está desplazando poco a poco. So. El enchinador, de tal manera que empezó bien el fondo, apretó, apretó, desplazó un poco en medio, apretó, apretó, y ahorita está volviendo a hacerlo. Push down and pull it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Release, move up, push down, release it, move up. So you get a full curl, mm -hmm. and not just, sh sh exactly. you know, sometimes this, you have... This curl. Yeah. <laughs> so this way, you will get a more smooth exactly. curl. Perfect. Yeah, you could also warm this up a little bit with a hairdryer, for example. Okay. Test it on yourself first, because if this is too hot... Okay, yeah, of course. Yeah. So, and don't test it on your arm, because your arm is not as sensible as your skin. Test it here, on okay. yourself. Okay. Because it's better to burn yourself than your client. Of course. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna add a coat of Dermacolor Light Mascara and I might add a little bit of the cream liner on top to okay. give it more volume. Dermacolor Light Mascara or applicar? This is very natural, but if you want more volume, just add cream liner, for example. 
look up. So I'm placing a tissue underneath her eyes because this way I can really build up the lashes without her blinking too much or without me you know needing to be careful not to shake too much and then close her eyes same here i can go straight to the roots she doesn't tear up because her eyes are closed it's very comfortable like this let's just roll the product in excelente forma de aplicar el rímel porque básicamente no le está teniendo consideración alguna, sino está llegando directo y con toda la confianza le está poniendo todo el necesario porque sabe que no está manchando. Eh, raramente he visto maquillistas que usen esto, yo he llegado a usarlo y precisamente a mí me ha funcionado muy bien. Y bueno, Mika también lo usa, pero he visto otros que van a mano limpia, lo cual también sale muy bien. Pero sin embargo, ahorita aquí fue con una velocidad y una confianza sin estar pensando que estás manchando. So that's the more natural version. Now I'm gonna add a little bit cream liner on top. And with this one, you can even shape the lashes. So if you're going for more, you know, thick lashes, almost clumpy lashes, some people prefer that, you can do that with the cream liner. Also, if you want to, you know, create like triangles uh -huh, or uh -huh. something for underneath the eyes, like Twiggy sí, sí, sí. in the 60s. Yes, exactly. You can do this with cream liner very sí, well. Sí, sí, eh, aquí este producto en determinado momento, la ventaja que va a ser el cream liner es que nos va a permitir dar hasta forma si quieres. Ahí tienes otra forma de imitar, como ella lo mencionó directamente, las pestañas de los 60s, donde eran muy trianguladitas so, de esta manera. Same technique pretty much and you can immediately see that it adds a lot more texture and volume. Uh -huh. Close. Same goes here. Also with this technique I can go really close to the roots because I have a lot of time and she doesn't flinch, she doesn't tear up. I can really brush the product in and take my time and create the lashes I want. Much more volume, much more body. Great. Se ve el doble de pestaña de lo que se veía. And I like to, you know, brush the base in a little. This. And then pretty much the only thing we need to do is add a little blush at the lip. She already has a tiny little blush. I'm just gonna add a bit more. Mm -hmm. So, fluffy brush. Glamour Glow, the fresh tone, the more orange-based tone works very well with sí, those. Sí, que fue el que se usó originalmente. Recordemos Natural. que ese fue el que usamos al principio. Lo vuelve a recargar un poquito, nada más. Porque ya una vez que se maquilló el ojo y cito todo esto, es el retoque ahí del punto. De hecho, And mencionó again. en algún momento en que ella prefería hacer esto al final. I take a little bit of my blush color mm -hmm. and work it through the crease to for you yeah, exactly to make everything cohesive uh -huh. and softer. Look up. Also a little bit under the eye. Maravilloso. Right. Excellent. And since she already has gloss on, this would be pretty much exactly. the natural. <laughs> <laughs> Great, right. excellent work. Bueno, ya se dieron cuenta qué talento tiene Mika, es extraordinaria para maquillar. Con esto ya llegamos al final de este video, nos restan muchos más, no te vayas. Abajo obviamente tenemos el link para que veas todos los productos, lo que se usó y por supuesto para que vayas a la página y puedas escoger cada uno de ellos, ya sea en línea o vengas directamente a Articipio. Así es que, gracias Mika, thank you for doing this wonderful, wonderful makeup. Gracias a nuestra modelo por soportar aquí estar sentada y por supuesto te veo en el próximo. Y recuerda que si el maquillaje es tu pasión, Articity es la solución. Maquillaje como en Hollywood, que es la fuente de la juventud. Como estrella tú serás bellísima y sensual. Cinco, cuatro, siete, seis, cuatro, cero, cero. ¡Llámanos ya!